Oh yeah, it's me again. I have to ask some questions. I'm going to call maybe one congressman that might. I'm going to call the local office. They might at least write some of this down. And I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. It is the 1033 program. Um, sorry about that. I got a cold and I just messed up where I was calling. Let me do this real quick. Um, two, two, seven, two, three, five, one, five. I'll put this on speakerphone. Let me go to this ten thirty three program. <clears throat> Um, yeah, do you get in touch with him office often? I'm sorry? Do you talk to uh, Mr. Kilmer often? Uh, I staff the office here. Okay, so you don't talk to him. Or are you looking for an answer on the question? Well, actually, I want to know if he knows about the 1033 program that's um, through the Department of Justice, which um, has been militarizing our police. To the police? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm familiar with it. I'm not sure... Uh, if he is, but... Wow, but you are. What do you think about it? Well, it's, it's an interesting thing. Uh, may have been well-intentioned at one point, but, uh, you know, these, these things tend to have a life of their own. And it took on a life of its own. Now, how do we take this thing back? That's, that's a good question. Um... Were you looking for an answer on any of this? <laughs> well, yeah, but obviously he probably don't know about it, and you, being the one that runs the office, seems to know more. Maybe you should run for Congress. Well, I can uh, put your info down if you, if you would like a response. I, I haven't talked to him about this. Uh, I'm not sure if he is aware or what his position may be, but we can get a comment if you like. I, I would like this, and can I tell you you're being videoed? But you gave an awesome response, so is that okay? I'm so sure. Because what what what's wrong is you know the American public are angry right now. I mean, this is not the way. Here in Washington State, um, if you get a ticket, they come up to you. Um, you know, McClary just voted their police out. Did did you know that McClary, Washington? I heard it. Yeah. Yeah, you heard about that. Well, they were thugs. They were bullies. <clears throat> um, and, and I think the people are getting tired of this bully mentality that the police have that came along with this, I guess, this 1033 program. I had no idea about it until the Mohawk Nation in Canada showed it to me. And I live in Washington State. So what has happened is the police have taken on this new thing where they think they are militarized and they can tell us what to do when we pay their salary. And that's just wrong. And I'm over 50, and I don't like being pushed around by some young little punk, and that's what they are. They're punks. I mean, my son, if my son treated me the way the police treated me, there would be hell to pay, if you know what I mean. But there's absolutely no respect. So, yes, here's my name. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Have you called to uh, take a close look at this, and that won't be the end of it, but uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that you understand that this program might have been good in case of something, but it's actually went kind of took its life of its own. It's glad to hear someone say that. <laughs> so, are you interested in an email response here? No, actually, I want to talk to somebody. I get the same old jargon emails. Okay. Like, like I had emailed him once on um, how... Uh, you know, they should label GMOs. And he said, oh, I, I I get the standard letter that my neighbor said that she was, uh, we, we actually did a test, so I'll just let you know. I had someone write that they didn't want it labeled, and I wrote I wanted it labeled, and we both got the same email back. So there you go. They just look up at the keywords in the, you know, in the system. Yeah, so no, nah, I don't want an email. I want to talk to somebody. And um, I want to know how we stop this program, we the people. And, you know, if I could get that out to other people, because I have I have a pretty big YouTube channel, even though I'm old. <laughs> and, um, 
it it would help if we could you know find a peaceful solution to stop this program because the police have they they've gone rabid it's almost like a disease they got a little power and they took it and ran and that's what happens with power right and maybe the dog at j knew that to begin with if you think about it i mean i know we i know grace harbor county has drones why do we need drones here in grace harbor county yeah, it is. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fully up to speed on that one. Yeah, I reported it when I saw it come out in a little bitty part of the newspaper, of our little local newspaper, and I'm thinking, now why in the world does this county, and, and if you've been to Grace Harbor County, you probably have one time or another, you would probably be scratching your head. You're right, why do they need drones there? It's not like there's city here. There's no cities. Yeah. It's rural. It's nothing. Well, I, I've heard sometimes they do that uh, in the rural areas. Uh, when they're doing like a missing child thing in the woods or something like that, um, I, I can't speak on that. Yeah, well, yeah, but if there's a missing child in the woods, um, and usually the people get together and start looking too. And I could see an airplane or something for that, but not just drones traveling over Grace Harbor County anytime they want. That's just ridiculous and a waste of everybody's money. So. Um, you know, and we're we are now the poorest county, I guess, in Washington State, and we got drones. So there you have it. Uh, that's where the money goes for. I thank you very much for talking to me, and hopefully somebody will get back in touch with me. Uh, it is kind of a busy time of year here, so if you don't hear back from us, please do call back. Okay, thank you for being honest. Oh, sure thing. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Okay. Um, when I kind of turned this off for a minute, we talked. Uh, because I don't want my personal information out there. And, and you know, yeah, this program took on a, a uh, the 1033 program could either go one way or another. The police could have used it for good or for bad. And it looks like it took on a creepy monster way. He's not sure that this congressman knows. That's why I told him, why don't you run for Congress? Because obviously he sees what's happened with this uh, 1033 program. I'm going to let everybody go. Call your local representatives like I just did. Ask them about the 1033 program. I'll leave a link because this is how the police got militarized to begin with. Peace. Love you guys.